Hey everybody, Nancy Harner here with Cobble Banker Howard Perry and Walston, the Jim Allen Group. And I'm in a beautiful house in Newberry with Connie Allen. And we're going to talk to her for a few minutes about her career and the building that she does. How did you get started in the building business? I find it fascinating. Well, you know, honestly, it's been so many years ago, but what got me into this business was just by happenstance. I went to work for Fitch Lumber Company out of Chapel Hill. And a lot of people don't know them, but they were a wonderful family-owned company, and they were a building supply company. Mm -hmm. And a friend of mine worked there. My kids had gone back to school. It's time to go to work. And I went to work there. And they had a small interior department that worked with builders. You know, they would bring their clients in. We would help them make all their selections. I didn't have a background in it. I gravitated towards it. I was good at it in my mind, you know, but I didn't have any kind of degree. And so it just happened very naturally. Mm -hmm. And so it just evolved over the years of working there and getting to know this industry. And then I decided it would be a great idea to build a house because in North Carolina, you don't have to have a contractor's license. You can build your own okay. home. Okay. All right. So I did too and, and lived in them. We lived mm -hmm. in them. Mm -hmm. And it just taught me both sides of this industry because what I do now is, you know, I head up the building and the design team. So I think having that naturally organic background of how right. I got into the business has just served me well over the years. Okay. okay. Well, about how many homes do y'all build a year? I know you probably do pre-sale and you do spec homes. We do more of our uh, signature homes, mm -hmm. which we design and build and um, Pick out everything. So mm -hmm. our homes, most of them are move-in ready, as, as is this one. This is beautiful. We completely stage them so you can walk in and you can get a good sense of what it would be like to live there, uh, already furnished. Mm -hmm. So that's really more our business model than it is pre-sales, okay. but okay. we do, but all, every one of our homes are custom. We approach every one of them differently. We try not to do, duplicate anything. Lighting, of course, we talked about that earlier, is a big thing of mine. So you can do a lot in making a home seem very unique, very custom for that certain buyer. That answers one of the questions, one of the main questions I wanted to ask you because every t I said to you earlier, when I've gone into all of these homes, every time I go into a Raleigh Custom Homes, the interior, the bones of the house, so beautiful, so well thought out. And what I was going to ask you was how you stay in touch with the trends, the colors, just all of the aspects of the interior of a home. How do you stay in touch? But I think I know from what you've said about what you started out doing. You, well, it, it, yeah, yes, I think that is probably a big part of it. But, you know, now we, the world we live in is just so different with social media and, and everything like that. But I have a saying is that I want to know what's trending. I just don't want to be trendy. Right. So I, I, want, I agree 100%. I want our homes to be somewhat timeless, but, you know, still be updated and have you know, special features. And we do try to think of each house individually and what can we put in things that'll make it special. Where we start on every single home is always in the kitchen. Perfect. Always, you know, and there's that saying, which I was saying a long time ago, and then I thought I heard it, you know, again, repeated, because it is the heart of the home. It and is. that's thrown around a lot. But our homes now with these open floor plans, you really got to think about a kitchen differently because it's got to blend into your living area, mm -hmm. your everyday living area. So we give that a lot of thought and how we make selections, how we want the kitchen to blend into this living area right. with the open floor plans. It just, it's a must. And you do a great job because I've always been a fan of white cabinets all my life. And we went through that trend where you didn't find white cabinets. And right. I was the only person in White County with white cabinets. But the subway tile here and the white cabinets and those light fixtures are to die for. But anyway, this interior is real special to me. I love it. I think I may have to uh, stay here this weekend if that's okay. Yeah, with it. It's furnished. Hey, I mean, there's <laughs> yeah, a bed upstairs ready to go. <laughs> One other thing, though, I did want to ask you uh, before we wrap this up is 
What do you love most about this business? The process. I like it. I, I can really see that. love the planning. You know, what I'm trying to instill, and I'm, I'm all about the, the details, and sometimes it, you can get lost in those, but it's important. And I'm, I try to instill in my team that if you approach building, like our project manager, especially our junior ones, if you approach building as if you're going to live in it and you're going to pay for it. You will look at it from completely That's different eyes. Fabulous. The way you keep your job site, how to, you know, just even when you're in that framing stage. We have we have team walks that walk our framing stage before we go to sheetrock. So it's not just up to the project manager or whatever. We have a whole team that we go around. You learn from that. Yeah, and you, you really start looking for details that will make it easier in the end to pull together a nice product. But we really, and, and that works. And I've always viewed building like that. I take every house very personally. Yeah. I, I really want to know that I can walk in that home and be proud of it mm -hmm. and when it sells it makes me feel good knowing somebody's going to enjoy that home see and that is just perfect because people when they hear that they love that they want somebody that put everything they had into this home it would be so special to me we are sitting here in north raleigh in Newberry, just off Strickland Road. It's the most convenient location. It's right in the heart of North Raleigh. And I just want to thank Connie again. This is Nancy Harner for the Jim Allen Group. And Connie, thank you again for bringing this beautiful home to us. Everybody come out and see this house. You're going to love it. But anyway, thank you, Connie. It's been my pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.